He's with Trump, cancel him. He's with the Republicans, cancel him. Cancel, 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 cancel. That's all people are obsessed about. He's done. We're, we're done with him. He's, he's a cool, he's a seller. I'm not emotional. <clears throat> I'm not an emotional person. I am an extremely, maybe too much, I'm an extremely rational person. I am obsessed with to, listening to both sides. People say, no, you don't listen to both sides. That's just me. That's just me. I believe in innocence and proven guilty. And I believe on, I'm going to research the heck out of everything. So I reach the truth. Hence why people have this thing with me. We're like, no, 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 you have to make a decision. No, 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 no. I'm not making a decision because you want me to. I am, my aim is to make the right decision. And I can only make the right decision when I hear from both sides, that side, this side, and all sides. So before I did this video, I said, I will only do this until I hear from Ice Cube. Until Ice Cube says his stance. I'm not going to look at rumors, what people say, people's reactions, because that's one of the whole point. So that is what I wanted to do. And hence why we have a thingy from your boy Ice Cube. So two tweets. This is the first tweet. Facts. I put out the contract with Black America. Both parties contacted me. Democrats said we'll address the contract with Black America after the election. That is key here. After the election. Trump campaign made some adjustments to their plan after talking to us about the contract with the Black America. Let's deal with this first because the other one is also very interesting. Let's just deal with this first. You see, I mean, let me put myself. See, this is why Democrats, Republicans, it's nonsense. Because, see, this is beyond just America. This is a black people thing. This is like a people thing. Don't let the system tell you what you have to be. Don't be told by the system that you have to be be this. Why? You're voting Democrats. Why? Why? Do Democrats actually help you? That's, that's the thing. If you can, if you show how Democrats actually help you or help your community, fair enough. But my thinking is, people can't tell you substantially how Democrats are helping you. They just say, hey, you know, well, they're the less of two evils. Or, you know, we always vote with Democrats. You know, Democrats have Clinton and Clinton played the sax saxophone and so, and so forth. So, same thing as well. This, this is not a case of, oh, Republicans, because they're not Democrats and they're more realistic. I'm going to go with the Republicans. Okay, Republicans, what do you do for the black community? Are you just trying to use them? So let's study this now. Both parties can say, Democrats said we'll address it after the election. Ah. You see, and this is where Democrats always mess up. Why after the election? Why not now? Why not say, we're going to address it now? But no, Democrats are not worried about it. Democrats, their main aim is we have to win this election. We have to get Trump out. And this has always been the issue with the Democrats is their over-obsession with Trump. Where they're not thinking about anything. Like, what are your policies? What are you trying to bring in through? Your policy is not Trump. It's actually like Trump, because they are banking on this. Is, this is a huge is It may pay off. It may pay off because Trump has been a bit of a trash president. But it's, it may pay off. But it's a big gamble that your entire campaign has been about Trump, anti-Trump, 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 anti-Trump. But what about, yeah, you can be anti-Trump, but this is not what we're going to do. These are the new elements that we're going to bring in. These are how we're going to improve things. So these are the details of how we're going to do things, improve things, and so forth. So yeah, Trump is on one side, but here's what we're going to give you. So for Democrats now saying, so Q brings this in, and even for, court, politics is all about the optics, just for the optics. Say, we'll, we'll address it. Even if you won't really address it, just say, okay, yes, we're going to look into this thing and we're going to discuss about it, we hear you. But to say, that's not, we'll address it after the election means that, bros, look, just, just move, move. But Republicans said, they actually, key thing is here, after talking to us. So the Democrats probably didn't even engage with Cube. But Cube actually had an engagement with these dudes. And that's the, the key thing. So the Republicans may, may not do anything. And most likely, they're not really going to change or 
implements his plan. But it's for the optics. It's for the optics. And what I'm I'm in the one percent. Coming out of the I'm in the one percent. Optics don't work for me. You know, I'm too clued in. But for the ninety nine percent of people, optics work. Optics work. Hey, Kamala is black and she's all for black people. Yeah, it works. Clinton is with the, with the blacks. Yeah, it works. Trump, he's all about America. Make America great again. Yeah, it it works because optics works for the ninety nine percent because the ninety nine percent don't think. The ninety nine percent just are about face value. The ninety nine percent don't want to do the research. They don't want to pull back the curtain. Just give me the optics. Give me the optics. Give me the optics. So, but here's the, the thing. Before I go to the next tweet. Cube, do you understand optics? Are you sure the Republicans are really care about your contracts with Black America, or are they about how do we now? Because for the Republicans, they're like this looks great. Because like yes, those Democrats said they're going to look at look at this after the election. Republicans said no. We'll make adjustments. We're going to look at it now. So if you're black and undecided, you're like, just keep it real. If you're black and undecided, you're like, the Democrats said we're going to look at this after the election. Republicans are addressing it now. So from the optics again, I think it's it's bullcrap. But for the optics, which is where the 99% comes in, Republicans look more so that they actually care about this conference with the black America than the Democrats. That's what it appears to be. And, that's a, and optics is works really well politically because we're dealing with getting people to vote. And for people to put into vote, they look at the optics. Most people, they're busy. They have things to do. What's perception, 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 perception? Most people, they don't, they don't do the research. It's all about perception. It's all about perception. But if you look deeper, Cube, are you sure they will actually do this? Now, let's go to his other tweets, which is even deep. I mean, this is like wow. So hopefully you can see this. If you can see, I'll 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 read this for you. So he let me do the, the tweet that he responded to. My hip hop era ice cube is walking with the dark side. I haven't felt this low since Kobe passed. Heartbreaking. Cube. I'm not sure you understand how much we value your voice. This is an issue. This is an issue. This is an issue. Um, and when you and when we see you jumping the shark, it kills us, especially in 2020. Now, the biggest issue I have with that tweet is how much we value your voice. Why do you value the voice of a poet? Poet stroke rapper. So high. Why? Because he's he's famous? Okay, so what if he's black and not famous? Why should his voice matter because he's black and famous? Why doesn't the um, voice of a Lord Jamal matter where 24-7 he's he's talking about issues 24-7 and he's created a platform where he talks about black issues 24-7. A Lord Jamal, a rad digger with their podcast, a... I call Eric Dyson a Cornel West, where 24 7 this is what they're about. <laughs> I ask him, yeah, he did that, but 24 7 that's one of his about. He does the big three and so forth. So, why is his voice so valued? Why, why, why? He's a celebrity. Let's go deeper. Every side, this is what Cube says every side is the dark side for us here in America. They are all the same until something changes for us. They all lie and they all cheat, but we can't afford not to negotiate. Not to negotiate with whoever is in power or a condition in this country will never change. Our justice is bipartisan. We can't afford not to negotiate with whoever is in power or a condition in this country will never change. And this is where the complication lies. Let's... Use an analogy. Let's say you're star- you are you're you're in the desert. You're starving and you're thirsty. You're starving and you're thirsty. And there are two people in the, in the desert. One person has like a small thingy of rice to offer you, 
and a li- and just like a little bit of, of water, and this is your best. This is this is your your good friend. This other dude here is a prick. You hate him. You have issues with, with him. You and he's done things that make you dislike him. But he's offering you a huge plate of rice, noodles, ramen, so forth, and ga- and several jugs of water. He's offering that to you. So you would say that, well, no, he's my friend. This is my friend. <laughs> but he's offering me something that will not quench my thirst or my hunger. So am I just indebted to take what my friend is giving me, which is far less than what my enemy is giving me? Because, yes, this guy, I, I don't like him. I'll never be this guy's friend. But he's offering me more than this guy. And what my enemy is offering me, it will quench my thirst and will fill my hunger. <laughs> And I, I need to eat. If I don't eat properly, if I don't have that, I will, I will continue to, to, to starve. So what my friend is offering me, yeah, it will get me through maybe maybe like a few hours or so. But after the next day, I'll, I'll, I'll be messed up. What this my enemy, the guy that I don't like, is offering me for two, three weeks, I'm good. It's offering me dozens of food, gallons upon gallons of, of water. And yes, this my enemy is doing that because he wants to get me on my side or wants something to, to do with me or he wants to show that he's better than this my other friend. Whatever his motives may be, <laughs> that's what I need. So the thing that... Because it's complex. I'll, I'll, I'll go deeper. Cube is like, what do we want? <laughs> and who is going to offer us what we, we want? It doesn't matter what the side is. What do we want? Who can we offer it to? A wise man uses whatever he can to get what he needs. Because that's the, the, the clear thing. It's about the goal. You know? And sometimes, and that's how life works. Sometimes in life, you have to... And that's what life is about. Life is about doing things you don't like. But you need to do that in order to get what you want. You've got to, you've got to, you've got to do that crappy job. You've got to smile, put up a smile from that extremely annoying boss. You know, you have to work those two, three jobs that, 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 that you hate. You have to do things you don't like because there's, there's, there's an end goal. And to get to that end goal, I've got to crawl through the mud, crawl through the crap, m- m- mingle and mix with these complete pricks because I'm just, I'm taking. I'm taking from these guys. These guys that I hate, I need to take from them. What I now have it, boom. Piss off and I have what I have. So life's about. Life isn't, isn't about doing what all the stuff that we like. That's not how life works. Life is about doing stuff that we don't like, but doing them in order to get what we need. Um, but the issue here for Cube is, can you trust these people? We kind of want to get shit with whoever is in power. Because my Cube is, what is, what is the end goal? What is the end goal? Because, Cube, if your end goal is for blacks to thrive in America with this contract with the black America, that's not going to happen. The system, will, the system will not allow it. The system will not allow, will not, will not, will not create any plan for black Americans to three, to three thrive in America. That's not ha- happening. But if your goal is bigger and beyond America, or for black people to create their own ecosystem, and to build and to construct their own ecosystem that they can now govern. Now you're onto something. <laughs> because do you really believe that what white America has built for decades and years, they're just gonna just freely give it away or give you equal giving the, 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 the they'll give you equal amounts of it? Are you sick? That's not how the world works. That's not how the world works. This is dog eats dog. It's dog eats dog. You know, it's the world's ash. It's dog eat dog. And the system will fight. Fight tooth and nail to maintain their superiority. They're not just going to just allow you, give you a contract that now makes you as strong, potentially stronger than them. Are you sick? No. So for keep what is, what truly is the end goal here? Because you have to know who you're dealing with. That's the key thing. Cube is fine. It is true. It is that whoever is giving me the best thing. So, with the whole analogy is okay. You have to think okay. Why is this guy my enemy giving me all this food and this drink? 
Are you sure this food isn't poisonous? <laughs> I thought this drink isn't poisonous. Now that I have not have had this food and drink, what do I, do I now owe him? Or is there something linked to this food and drink? Or is this food and drink linked to someone who could have tried to attack me? Why are you giving me this? So that is what Skip must ask. Why are you willing to give us this contract when I know your history and I know how you people think? You must always ask why. But, let's say it again, to just cancel someone Without doing research and thinking it's bad because a lot of people are saying, oh, cancel cube. Oh, this is who Malcolm X was talking about. So all these celebrities like, oh, because the thing is, why did you even put faith in the celebrities to begin with? So you people say, oh, your council, your 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 council, don't no, you're a fool because first of all, why did you put faith into ice ice cube? He's just he's just a, he's, he's just a rapper. He's just a rapper. Now, if Cornel West comes to this, you know, oh, Cornel, wait, wait, why, but Cornel West, why, why, why? You're a scholar, you've done the research. I ask you, he's, he's just a rapper. All because someone is famous doesn't mean that they now they should now be the voice of Black America. Terry Crews is just a clown who 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 who, who, who does dances while he's half naked. Who cares what he says? <laughs> he's just he's just he, he's a he's a court jester. But first. Do research, look at everything properly before making a determination, you know. Um, because canceling people like that without actually saying, okay, what are they saying? Look at everything, research from all angles, really think, think. Don't just act off emotion. Think first, then have your reaction. But people that are just reacting without actually thinking. Think first, think first. Thanks for watching the vid and don't forget to head to the official websites for extra cool content at halfhopehot.com.